Hello. So today we'll be talking about the video game culture. Um, the video game culture has exploded in the scene, right? But it's always been popular. Even to the new age kids, to the older age kids, right? So for example, we have Mario, we have Zelda, which is my favorite game of all time. Um, you have all those in-between games like Yoshi, Luigi, um, different type of consoles. You also have PS5, PS4, Nintendo Switch, Xbox. You have PC. Um, pretty much just everything that you can probably think of, a video game has been invented for it, right? So the culture has exploded within the recent years just due to the accessibility of the internet. The internet has pretty much just grown a network of people trying to game together, trying to, you know, have fun. Um, a lot of people do it for a career. The majority of people do it for an escape. There's a lot of people that do it for both, you know? Um, there's, there's a lot of way to communicate between you and your friends from the comfort of your own home. I think COVID, um, the recent COVID items or the recent COVID uh, pandemic that happened is is a very good example of um, getting, you know, to a place without leaving your home. Um, like I said, the power of the internet is, is crazy. So some of the topics that we're gonna talk about would be the, the norms, right? So the appropriate behavior of the video game culture. So obviously there's always unspoken rules. There's always um, items that, that you can think of. Um, for example, when you are in a game, don't kill your teammate, right? Um, if you're in a team in the middle of a tournament, just don't go to the middle and go directly to go have a gunfight you know, go and die or do something crazy, right? A lot of people take this serious. Um, there's there's always a group, maybe a four, maybe a six, depending on the game you're playing. Um, a lot of people nowadays playing are playing Call of Duty. Um, Call of Duty is a very, very popular game, um, especially after the release of Warzone. It's free. Who doesn't like free? It's... Um, it, you just need literally probably maybe 50 megabyte, me megabits per um, per second on, on our internet to get a good, good connection, you know? So it all depends on on the way you see it. The other topic we're going to talk about is the nonverbal codes. Nonverbal codes is actually a very, very good one. Just due to the fact is a lot of people think that you need these fancy, expensive headsets, you know, to, to play a game. Um, in reality, you don't. Uh, you can... Go and see. There's text chat on the uh, on the on the the console you're playing. There's um, emotes is what we call it. There's lots of ways that you can communicate without actually talking, right? You can point, you can ping, is what we call it. You can point at something. You can do something within the control. If you have a PS5, for example, you with the click of a button and it's there, like the person automatically knows. And it also depends on, on, on the group of people you're playing, right? So the group of people you're playing are mostly gonna be your friends, coworkers, you know, et cetera. So like they learn your pattern. They learn to to understand like, oh, okay, this is what he needs, or he needs this, or maybe he only needs this, you know, there, there's always ways to, to, to vary, to make sure that you're okay, to make sure you need help, to make sure everything is fine, right? Um, the last topic we're going to talk about is a culture pattern, right? Honestly, the gaming scene is probably not going to leave anytime soon. Um, the gaming culture is a huge part of society now, right? Because you can, with the power of a microphone, a camera, you can make it your career, essentially. If you have the, like, the charisma, if you have... The, the 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 charm if you have anything in general that can probably get you what you call views it that's what makes it fun right a lot of people really don't understand the concept of gaming gaming is not just i'm gonna go on the tv waste or whatever amount of time um 
just playing video games, right? It's an escape. If you work 12 hour, 13 hour shift, you just want to go and just clear your mind. And it's, nothing's better than just sitting here, eating snacks, playing video games with your friends. From the comfort of your own home. You don't even have to waste gas. You don't have to waste anything. You literally have everything you need at home. You just have a camera and you just talk to them like they're in the same room. So that is that that is one of the biggest advantages of the of the video game culture. The video game culture is growing. It's probably not going to stop growing. And I'm so excited to see what the future has in store. Right. It went a long way from a Mario, from 8-bit gaming um, console to, you know, 4K TV. Like now it's it you can literally not see the diff or you could you can't tell the difference between a a person or AI. So yeah, that's the presentation. Thank you.